Mr. Jeffrey Smith posted a stunning shot of a brick wall on his Instagram feed and it gave me an idea. Thanks, Jeff. I've had this vintage brick mould for a while and didn't have a project for it. Moulds like these were made from tropical hardwoods and were used to make clay bricks. It's springtime, right? Time for birdhouse making? So with a few extras, some sanding belt, contact adhesive and artist palette knives, I set about making my birdhouse brick house. <whistles> Firstly, I needed to measure up to make a face for the birdhouse. I had a quick look in my scrap bin and found some scrap cedar. The cedar was perfect for an outside job. Ooh, before I get into this, a quick sticker interlude. Just when you thought it was safe, Berkey's watching, as are Heidi and Ben and Martin from MG Makes. Thanks for the stickers, guys. Back to it. I cut the cedar and sanded it to size on the mini bench sander. Time for a quick test fit, then a little more fine sanding. Using a hole saw, I marked out the position of the bird door, or entrance, or hole. Here I'm using the flap sander on the Dremel to smooth the inside of the hole. There'll be no bird splinters on my watch. Now it might just be me, but I figured that the palette knife looked like a mini brick trowel, so I set about removing its handle. Stay with me, the coping saw didn't cope at all. Turns out I needed the junior hacksaw. Seems as though there was a metal core running through the whole knife. Now some jobs need a professional, but Stanley the Clamp was on his holidays, so I called in his Jurassic cousin, Calliposaurus. <laughs> Calliposaurus worked out the drill size that I'd need to make a hole so that I could add the perch. With that done, I drilled four holes in the sides to secure the face in place. These could be removed when the box needs cleaning. Time to cut down those sanding belts. This is what I'm doing with them. I chopped them all down into mini bricks, rounded each corner and then used some contact adhesive to stick them to the cedar face. I used a fine sandpaper to take off some of the glue out spill. I then used wood filler to emulate mortar. Here I'm just adding some exterior stain and some varnish to protect the fake mortar. The front of the box now almost finished. It's just lacking something. Pam from Highland Boxes has been using moss in some of her finished ring displays and kindly told me where to get some. Thanks Pam. So it turns out that you can buy moss in bags from Amazon. Who knew? Don't tell me this stuff doesn't remind you of Oscar the Grouch. Or is it just me? Nah. What am I making here? A little shout out to my friend Joe, who had the idea to use a bit of fake mortar to help the birds grip as they sat on the perch. You'll see a little bit later on. I just mixed up some sawdust, wood filler, and let it dry and then coated it with an exterior varnish. Just mixed up some two-part epoxy and fixed the mortar to the trowel. <gasps> Deep breath. I needed to attach the moss by using some spray glue, so I masked off the brickwork to protect it from the stickiness of the glue. I then stuck the moss down, and when I was happy with it, finished it by spraying on a little bit of clear varnish which held the moss to itself. The last job is to fit that mini trowel with the mortar onto the house, a classy perch and a nod to the original use of the brick mould. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.